வெல்கம் டு டெக்கி மாஸ்டர் சேனல் எலக்ட்ரிக் கான்செப்ட்ஸ் டுட்டோரியல் ஃபிஃப்டீன் ஸோ எலக்ட்ரிக் கரண்ட் எக்ஸ்பெண்ட் ஸோ திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு டிஸ்கஸ் அபவுட் ஹவு த எலக்ட்ரிக் கரண்ட் இஸ் ஃப்ளோவிங் த்ரூ த கண்டக்டர் அண்ட் ஒய் இட் இஸ் ஹேப்பனிங் அண்ட் அட் வாட் கேஸ் த கண்டக்டர் கேரிஸ் த கரண்ட் அண்ட் தி சம் டீடைல் அபவுட் தி அட்டாமிக் ஸ்ட்ரக்சர் ஆல்சோ ஓகே I want me to teach you more about electrical and electronics topics in detail and you want me to make more of this kind of video make sure the comment below and don't forget to subscribe also hit the bell icon and ensure that you don't so there are so many types of materials like wood steel rubber and cotton so apart from that we have so many materials so everything has its own atomic structure okay so we know in uh, this world every each and every uh, material or every particle has the atomic structure okay very well defined um, so if if you take human body it uh, human body also consists a lot of uh, Uh, atoms so they are hydrogen carbon oxygen and nitrogen atoms calcium phosphorus so like that we have made up with of lot of atoms okay atom is very basic so um, it was defined by niels bohr okay so let's get into the atom basic concept something so let's start up from uh, copper so you see this is the copper ore so and uh, this is a copper winding so when we are uh, when you are seeing this copper ore through scan tunneling microscope you can see the uh, molecular structure like this which has uh, atoms and atoms uh, is in connection with coal and bond with other atoms if you see this atoms particularly okay a ball it's a kind of a ball shape okay so when you are zooming it you can see lot of electrons inside and uh, there is a nucleus which has electrons uh, protons and neutrons okay actually this is not visible even though it is through uh, microscope but this is visible okay so this actually model was defined by niels bohr and this is the electro atom structure basically first we need to understand the atom structure then only you can understand how the current is flowing so atom structure it has a positive uh, ion that is known as protons and uh, neutral okay and a neutron also available inside the nucleus and around this we have shell orbit so which carries the electrons which is negatively charged so this positive uh, proton and this neutron so both are in the equal count so basically if you take any atom so they are uh, e uh, e equally charged actually neutral okay so because positive and uh, negative neut uh, negative ions are equally formed in the atoms so these uh, orbits which as the electrons they are all spinning around this nucleus nucleus is having a, a attraction okay force of attraction through which these electrons are um, circulating around this nuclear in the uh, form of orbit okay so this is the formula for 2n square where n is the number of shell if it is first shell then 1 so 2 into 1 square 2 so there are two atom presence here if you so if you go to second shell the second shell is formula 2 into 2 square 2 square means 4 so 2 into 4 there will be 8 atoms okay so if you see here so it is 8 atoms so like that it will go 18 32 okay so this is rutherford's atomic uh, models where he is comparing this atomic structure with the solar planetarium okay so the solar planetary model as sun okay we know and earth and other planets also which is circulating um, around the Uh, sun because of the magnetic force okay and it forms the orbit also like that in so nucleus which consists of neutron and uh, proton okay commonly known as nucleus which has the positive energy and electron is revolving around this positive energy because electron is negatively charged 
and the proton is positively charged so um, uh, both of them having some attraction that's why it is revolving around this but not in a circular uh, spherical shape but it is in different format okay you see this electron is revolving this side and this electron is revolving this side and this one this side so it will be randomly it will but the the motion around this proton will be on circular motion only so again this is uh, as i told proton is a positive charge electron new uh, electron is uh, negative charge and neutron is no charge at all electron is very small comparing with proton one, one divided by 2000 times so this is the copper uh, 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 atomic structure so where it has around 29 electrons okay it means 29 proton also inside in the nucleus so 29 electrons 29 protons so outer orbit has only one electron which is known as valence electrons so it has around 29 electrons so you see the first shell has two and second shell has eight and the third one has around eight okay and the last one is having one electron so totally 29 electrons so these electrons count is depending on that formula 2n square okay and this is the responsible for conduction so this is loosely coupled electrons it means it is not that much uh, connection with this nucleus so very less attraction force comparing this electron okay so this is, so this one is very nearer to nu uh, nucleus so it has it is tightly coupled so not like this okay So these valence electrons outside the orbi uh, outer orbit are responsible for the conduction. If you see, this is this one is the copper bar where electron is flowing through this conductor. So that is known as current flow. So if you take um, a copper bar when you are powering like this, uh, basically it will be short. Hey, but it's okay. But for understanding, so I put here. So the electron will be flowing from this negative to positive because the positive charge always attracts the electrons so electrons are coming tra from uh, traveling from negative to positive whereas this copper bar also lot of electrons so the positive plate will pull the electrons but the conventional current direction will uh, is taken always opposite to this electron flow you see the current i is flowing always opposite to these electrons okay so that is what con conventional uh, current direction we are taking for all uh, analysis purpose of the circuits and all so you see this is uh, something uh, detailed structure of this copper bar this copper bar has several number of atoms okay for example i am showing only the valence electrons so i mean uh, i show only outer orbits okay so these uh, electrons are responsible for the current flow so when i am applying supply to this voltage to this copper plate so how it will be happening you see so the electron force uh, electron is getting disturbed from the external force of the supply where we connected through battery and so the electron is flowing okay flowing atom to atom so if this atom is releasing one electrons then the equilibrium of this electron uh, new atom is getting disturbed it will be uh, so negative charge will be reduced positive charge will be increasing so it will uh, attract another electron from another atom so like that the sequence will go and uh, this particularly copper bar has a lot of free electrons because this is basically a conductor so it has a lot of atoms like this and it has a lot of free electrons so current will be continuously flowing okay current, uh, through this copper bar current, current will be continuously flowing through this copper bar it means the electrons flow is happening continuously okay uh, i hope you enjoy the video thanks for watching the video hope you better understood about the current so we'll see in the next video thank you bye